So, I want to talk about, have you seen this whole new thing where uh, New York cops, uh, cops all over the country are being blasted with water guns? And we're looking at, let's put up some of the video clips that are out there. So we're talking about mobs of people, 25, 50, 100 people that are surrounding cops who are in downtown cities, blasting them with water guns, uh, dumping buckets of water over their heads. You know, you look at what that does for the officers that are trying to do their job. Uh, when they're distracted, when they have uh, a large gathering around them, that causes some alarm. And they need to consider that, yeah, it might be jokingly in fun, but these officers are there trying to do a job. At what point do you need outside support before it becomes a law enforcement issue? We're looking at whether this is selling trade secrets, if this is financial that they might be stealing from it. There's a lot of different avenues, and our first thing is to be able to go in and actually find out what's going on. In my mind, I'm sitting there going, well, freaking arrest them. Arrest everybody, arrest all the bad guys. But you actually end up in a situation where you're almost making a determination. Do I want my money back or do I want justice? Sometimes you can get both. Oftentimes you get neither. Sometimes you get one or the other. Well, in my experience in doing this for many years, most clients, if not all of them, want their money back. Um, if there's some retribution in that as well, then that's great. If you were to give them priorities as to which, you know, if they've been defrauded for a financial fraudulent transactions or whatever else, the company's lost money, they generally want to go down the civil route and get their money back. Figured it out, uh, for $5, we can identify a burner phone of a trafficker. For $25, I can get you the complete online footprint of a human trafficker. And that saves one to three girls immediately and then countless numbers of victims down the line.